Hi, my name is Scott Scambato. I am the nuclear medicine technologist here at Nathan Litt Tower. And among other things, one of my responsibilities is to oversee a technology uh, called PET scanning. PET spelled P-E-T, it's actually an abbreviation. It's one of the newer technologies out there. And our goal or purpose per se, mostly centers around the oncology field, which allows us to diagnose certain kinds of cancers. In addition to that, we manage patient treatment as well. Patients who may be uh, experiencing chemotherapy, we can monitor response to that therapy. PET scan has been around for five or six years, and if your doctor has ordered the PET scan for you, I just want to explain a little bit about what it entails. So this is your typical PET scanner. As you can see, it looks very similar to a CAT scan machine, although its function is quite a bit different. When you arrive for your PET scan, the first thing we would do is start an IV and give you an injection. Uh, the material that we're injecting is a small amount of a radioactive component that we need to let circulate for 45 minutes to an hour, which you would do so in another room. There is uh, no chance of a reaction to the material that we inject. There are no side effects either. When that circulation period of time is up, we would bring you into here, like so, and, and lie you down on the table. The scan itself covers your entire body from your head pretty much down to your thigh. It takes approximately 25 to 30 minutes. For those patients who can do it, we would bring the arms up above your head, and then you would pass through the scanner while we take sections of your body and scan images. As I said, for most patients, it takes about 25 to 30 minutes. And once the scan is complete, we bring you out, get you off the table, and you can go on about uh, the rest of your day as you would normally. If you've been scheduled for a PET scan, I hope I've been able to alleviate some of your concerns in explaining what the procedure entails.